Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will see how to get the last one hour or one day or one week and one month of data from the SQL Server table. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will see how to get the data based on a date filter from the SQL Server table. So let's jump to the demo. I got a SQL Server instance and in my database I got a table, address table and this particular table contains data for different dates. So if I remove the top 1000 clause from this table, so it contains 19,000 records. Okay, so there is good number of records in this particular table. And if you look at the modified date, so the modified date has data for different dates. So today is 12th December and we have the data at 0, 0 hours and 1 minute. Okay, so we have the data like uh, just 10 minutes ago data we have and if you scroll down then we should have data for some other dates as well so if i scroll down so we have data for yesterday's data as well like uh, for 11 december we have some data as well it's less than one day okay within any one day we have some data so this is how you know we have data for different dates so what i want to do i want to select the data according to some criteria from this particular table okay so suppose if i want to select the data only the data that is modified within last one hour okay so i have seen some requirements like for some of the project uh, we might need to pull the data from the table and we are only interested in the records those are modified in last one hour because there can be some ssis jobs those are running on hourly basis okay so i have actually created some ssis packages and i used to like schedule them on hourly basis and the job can pull the data from a table only that data that was modified within last one hour okay so if you need to pull only the data that is modified within last one hour then you can write a query that can pull the data you know that is modified within last one hour and your requirement can be different like you might be interested in the data that is modified you know within last 24 hours you know within last one day or sometimes it can be like last one week or last one month you know the requirement can change so this is normally used in case of the incremental load so suppose from source you need to fetch the data and you want to insert the data into the destination table okay so you need to write a sql query where you can select the last modified data so every time you don't need to pull all data from the source if the table is huge so maybe you can pull just last one day data you know or one month data and then you can just compare the data with the destination table so in this particular video i will show you like how you can write the sql query so that you can pull the last one hour data and then i will write the query for last one day and then one week and then the one month okay so the first question will be like how i can get the last one hour date okay so in sql server there is a function get date which actually returns the current date along with the current time as well so if you execute this query select get date so it will return you the current date along with the current time as well so suppose if you want to get the last one hour data so we need to go one hour behind okay so how i can go one hour behind so there is a date add function in sql server that i talked about in my last video as well that you can use the date add function and instead of adding one hour you can just pass minus one so it will actually subtract the one hour from the current date time so you can use the date add function i can write like date add and i want to actually you know subtract the r so i can write r now instead of adding the r you can actually subtract the r so you can pass the like minus one it will actually subtract one r from the current date time and then you can execute this particular query so this will show you the one hour previous time okay so right now it's 12 12 and then 12 16 am so the one hour before the time will be like 11th december and 26 hours 16 minutes okay so this is the time so now we can simply write a select statement that we want to select the data from this particular table from the address table where the modified date is greater than this particular date okay so this particular value we can provide in the filter command so we can simply write where modified date is greater than and then this particular value 
so this will return you all the records those have been modified in the last one hour so these are the 450 records those have been modified in last one hour so they have the current date and they were modified at zero hours and one minute okay and because it's 17 minutes so they are 16 minutes older records okay and same way if you want to select the records like those are modified in last one day okay so like how i can get the one day previous date so instead of the r you can pass the day here and then you can pass like minus one so this will give you the one day older date so if i execute this particular query then this will give you the 11th december and zero hours and 18 minutes so this is the exact one day previous date okay so you can just simply copy this particular date and you can pass this value into the filter command where modified date is greater than one day older date okay so if you execute this query then this will give you the one day old data so it's 1015 records okay there are some records which are yesterday's records and they were modified at 5 hours and 30 minutes okay so they are around like 19 hours older records i think 19 or 18 yeah so this is how you can get the one day older data and similarly if you want to get the like one week older data so you can pass like minus seven so using the minus seven you can get the one week older records as well okay so there are some records those were modified on 8th december as well right so this is how you know you can just pass the like hours or day and similarly if you want to like for example get the one month older records so instead of the day you can pass the value like as month as well so for example instead of the day i can pass the value as month and this will return you the one month older value okay so this value you can pass in the filter command and you can easily get the one month older data okay so i can simply copy this particular value and paste it here and now if i execute the query so now i got 10500 records okay so we got like there are some records those modified on 30th november okay so yeah using this particular query we got 10500 records and using like uh, this one week older records we got 3500 records and in the last one hour we got 450 records so using these queries you know you can get the some previous day records okay yeah so i think that was for today's video and maybe i can share the create table statement for the address table and insert records as well and maybe i can share the select queries as well so you can download them from the link in the description of the video yeah so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload new video thank you so much